one thing you've got here is a lot of good students graduating that are really energetic and eager to go out and improve things. This is something I've been very impressed with. And a lot of students here are interested in farm animals. And this is really a good thing mm -hmm. because these students are the future of your industry. Yes. You know, I've been around for a lot of years now. If I can help uh, get students interested, and they've already done some good things on improving cattle handling. One of the things that's made a lot of welfare improvements is public pressure. Well, when somebody takes a video of something really nasty and it's shown on this, that I uh, get public opinion. That's one thing that is, has done it. The other thing is the marketplace is demanding it. Young consumers want to know where the food is coming from. A lot of young consumers want to do things to make the world a better place. Mm -hmm. And the mark, there's this high-end you know, marketplace that's demanding. And even you know, our less well-off consumers, they don't want people beating animals. Yeah. You know, we need to be doing things right. And one of the good things about the animal handling is that changing the way you handle the animals, you can lots of times handle them in the same facilities yes. if you just do it, you know, calmly and, and do it right. And I was hired by McDonald's to train the food safety auditors on how to do the welfare audit. That was in the year of 1999. And I saw more change than I'd seen in 20 years prior to that. And I used a very simple scoring system mm -hmm. where we measured outcomes. I've been Speed. seeing a lot of improvements. Improvements, okay. And also seeing many young students graduating really interested in improving the cattle industry. And I am really happy about that. The Thanks. first thing you have to do is to calm down, stop screaming at cattle, no dogs in the corrals, and no hitting. Then, after you learn that, there's many more things you can learn about stockmanship. But you have to calm down first. You're a lucky country, and you need to take advantage of it. Do not copy things that come from places that snow, that come from places that uh, maybe more arid and dry. Mm -hmm. You know, develop the things that only you can do that these other places are not able to do because of their climate.